Hello everyone, my name is Avlash Samlas and I am from Afghanistan. I work for Bard College um, and the Open Society University Network. I'm very honored to be here today and to share my story with you. I left Afghanistan in 2016 to, pers to pursue my academic journey and I had the opportunity to complete my undergraduate degree and two master's degrees in international relations and applied psychology. While I was studying, I would go to Afghanistan during summer breaks to see my friends. It was always very heartbreaking for me to see them and millions of other girls and children not having the opportunities that I had. As a child, my dream was to go to school and become a humanitarian. I was very fortunate to be born in an educated family who believed in the power of knowledge, and that set me on this path. For me, the support from this early age gave me the knowledge, of course, but also the experience, voice, and agency to act and to believe in myself. It was thanks to the education I received that I was able to help evacuate over 250 Afghan students after the fall of Afghanistan in 2021 so they could have access to education. It would have been almost impossible for me to continue my education after graduating from high school because of the barriers set for women in my country in 2016. And today, unfortunately, no woman is allowed to go to school after sixth grade in Afghanistan. This ban is an extremely devastating blow to the future of Afghanistan on several fronts, especially the early years development. By denying girls their basic right to education, the current regime is essentially robbing Afghanistan from the immense potential and talent of over half its population. That's 14.2 million women. And there is the youngest generation who currently face the rest of never accessing an education and the support and care they receive it will surely be impacted, as well as their growth and development, perpetuating into a cycle of poverty and dependency. This is a ban on human potential. The investment we need to take to scale for the ongoing projects that provide early education opportunities, like I had, for women in Afghanistan and for children everywhere isn't just about access to classroom. It's about unlocking the nation's full potential. It is a change we need and we could see everywhere when it comes to early years and when it's invested in early years. It's about making sure that the youngest generation will not be deprived of their rights to education and making sure they receive the support and the care that they need. Prioritizing this development stage would ensure healthier and happier children, and it will contribute to the overall well-being and productivity of all nations across the world. It is a crucial step that the international community must take to dismantle the barriers of inequality and discrimination. We must foster societies built on principles of tolerance and respect. In Afghanistan, and across the world. Education isn't just a pathway to personal success. It's a cornerstone for lasting stability and peace. Thank you so much. I really hope that our panelists who were here could also focus and reflect back. There was a lot of talk about what's happening in, Afghanistan, uh, in, in the countries, and I think Afghanistan is one of them. So I really hope that we bring back to the, the focus to what's happening there as well. And with that said, I would like to um, invite Adrienne Elrod to the stage. Thank you.